Hello people, and welcome back to Palavan, Malvanilla City Skylines build. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And thanks so much for all the kind comments, suggestions and support on Sunday's live stream. Uh, we came through over on the riverbank here, near Dawson and Canalavan, and decorated uh, the little little waterfront. We brought the metro line through here, there's a cycle highway that flows along this part of town now. And it turned out really nicely. Big fan of this repeated tree pattern. We went with sugar maples, conifers, and palaban pines. Kind of a little alternating theme here. And also worked on a little highway rest stop. Which isn't quite finished yet, but it's on its way. So there's some nice designs in the streams. If you guys haven't stopped by for a stream yet, they are usually every Sunday at 7pm UK. So hopefully see some of you there, and it's uh, it's nice to see this cycle highway in action now, isn't it? <laughs> some people are using it to get to the back of the train station now too, which is nice to see. These are uh, intercity trains dropping people off. And there's even some of them choosing to use the cycle network now, which is really good news. There we go. Very nice indeed. However, in today's episode, it is time to work on the airports, <laughs> which has been a long time coming. We won't put this off any further. Uh, let's go ahead and get started on this today, shall we? Got a nice big space to work with at the head of the outlying suburb. And a, a nice new uh, kind of skyline to look out to during the cinematics, I'm sure. Uh, however, the terrain is very uneven here. Uh, if we have a little little look, we've got some jankiness going on nearby to the river. So, let's go ahead and level all this out and start working on Palabin International Airport. Okay, so we've flattened out the area here, and uh, we have a nice little kind of raised banking up against the highway now. And all of this landscape here is at the same height. Let's move through that level terrain tool. Like, it's a very kind of small increase in height from this road. We can kind of see it along this lateral line here. So we'll start out by taking away our road network here, and uh, we're going to start introducing some slightly fancier vibes into the airport with the road network. So we're going to start here by drawing an arrow roundabout. Also elevated the bridge here to come across some of the arterial roads and crack that very harsh border we have between the outlying suburb. And we can now start to develop some fancier road infrastructure to accompany the airport, I think. What we'll do is we'll come out by seven tiles on each one. Make ourselves a little, little man-made roundabout here. We need something a little bigger than the preset one. So this should be okay. And let's come on to our curve row tool. And then just hook them all in. Really simply. And of course we'll upgrade into one way roads as well. Okay. Fantastic. Yes please. And then I think let's come out with some two-way highway roads, just our angle snapping, and then we can just prepare a couple of little roads and develop some kind of highway interchange. Uh, talking to these guys, okay, but for right now let's kind of focus on our airports here, yes please. So let's come back to our big six lane arterial, and we'll snap to the road guideline for this using our curve tool. Uh, and road length, just so we can see how far we're coming out. So that's about nine tiles, isn't it? Let's um, repeat that this side. And then we'll come down by two inclines. And then get a nice smooth descent into the roundabout here. Okay. That's not bad. We can probably straighten these roads up here, but... It's either a job for a live stream or the detail in time lapse, I think, isn't it? <laughs> it usually is. Uh, and then we can hook in with a smaller road here. May upgrade this into a larger four lane. I guess we'll just kind of see how things go. See how people decide to flow around this area. Okay, so that's going to be decent for right there. Let's actually place in the airports first of all. So we have our Metropolitan Airport, which is the well, one of the new um, transport hubs that came with Sunset Harbour. And... This is going to be like the meat and potatoes of the build, right? I think we'll have it facing kind of the downtown. So in order for us to kind of remain parallel with this road network, I'm just going to draw off a really straight road like this off the roundabout, so we know that we're snapping to that angle. So we're going to place our international airport 
right along here. Got some nice kind of highway and runway spice developing here too. A little bit of a close call with the bridges, but city skylines, I think we'll be okay, right? <laughs> I think we can justify it. Okay. So just using um, the angle snap tool on the road from the roundabout, we can make sure that the airport remains parallel with the current road infrastructure, which will be nice. And I think we're going to come through with a little bit of monorail road and monorail stops as well, because it's not something we use kind of overly often uh, with the monorail stuff, especially when we come into our little monorail road with the station here. We maybe come out by say five tiles and then include a station. Snap to a 90 degree angle. I think I think we can live with that. That's going to be okay, right? Maybe a little shorter so we can feed the actual monorail line in from the outline suburb in here. I guess we can see how things pan out, right? And again, because we're near the airport, very kind of grandiose roads. We'll be working with our kind of large treed six lanes today. And then we can feed this in here. And then we can also bring our monorail line out from this point too. I think just because of how harsh that curve is, I think we will maybe shift that monorail station back just a touch. Let's re-measure that out, shall we? Let's maybe come out by four tiles. And then we'll include the monorail station with rude. Fantastic. And then we can just head out of here. Let's bring the monorail line across the bridge. Oh, there you go. <laughs> a little bit of modern art being to develop with the uh, the street lamps there, but that's fine, we can live with it. And then we'll come down, and then we'll hook in. And then we can grab our six lane to continue into the airport here as well. So already with just a couple of assets placed and some initial infrastructure in, we can see something just a little more important beginning to develop over here, right? Layers of infrastructure and transport height here as well. Let's also not forget our cycle highway. We want this to flow into the airport too. And again, we'll just come to our angle on the initial approach. And we'll come up with a slight step as we go to the bridge. Some more modern art to be had in the cycle highway. But uh, no, we'll remember to bring this down and factor it into kind of how everything else sits at the end, right? They also want kind of like a big flowery. Like, P is it PAX? I guess it would be PAX, right, if it's Palavan Airport, Palavan International. I don't know. I probably need to look at the naming convention for that before we actually <laughs> decide to name the airport. But I'm um, like design this little flower display anyway at the front. Okay, so let's come back through now with our road length on. We'll come out by four tiles and then we'll include another monorail stop with road. It's totally not necessary to have two monorails this close, however. It's going to work really nicely with the symmetry of the airport because it's already such a symmetrical asset, right? I think it's having those two monorail stations either side of this little air control tower is going to add a little more to the build. I think it's a smaller kind of internal spice like this, right? That really helps these builds come together. At least I hope so, anyway. <laughs> So, of course, with any kind of airport build, we want to flesh out with other airport assets, even though kind of the Metropolitan Airport is going to be uh, the main asset of the build. There is the Cargo Airport hub that we can flip on its side here to run parallel with these ones. And there's also kind of uh, the regular small airport, which again, we can flesh out kind of the runway design here. And uh, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to have it kind of run in a couple of different directions here today, a couple of different ideas. So let's come with our road guideline snap, and we're going to snap on to the road guideline of the actual runways themselves. And we'll start to measure up how we're going to integrate the cargo airport hub into this. So it's actually kind of perfect. <laughs> that was not tested beforehand. And uh, there we go. I think we'll leave the episode there, guys. <laughs> well, you'll see what you're watching. There we go. It's aligned perfectly, apart from that one tree stump in the middle. Which we can delete, very nice. But, you know, it's just going to help flesh out the airfield vibe, if you like. And we'll have some nice little airport vibes beginning to develop, I think, with this already. 
Okay, and then we'll now position at the smaller airport here, and again, snap into the road guard line of the runways. Let's maybe bring a road out by 10, and then we'll see how this looks. See, we're a little, little too deep here. So we'll carry on out by maybe 15. And try this one. So see, now it's even probably a little bit too further away. So let's maybe come up by another 5, so that distance will go down to 10. And then I think that's a little more comfortable. That's a little more of what I'm after, I think, isn't it? Okay. I think it's a combination of three airport assets. I'm fairly happy with this kind of configuration right now. Uh, you may be aware that we've kind of left out the international airport asset, but I was really keen to use the Metropolitan kind of as the key build here because we didn't use it in Bagusia because as this was released, we literally just built Bagusia's international airport. So I think kind of one main terminal and then these two smaller terminals will, will uh, come together to form a, a nice aesthetic, I think. I think it will. Okay, so let's come into a monorail and then we'll include a new monorail stop for this kind of smaller terminal here. Again, come up by four tiles and then we'll grab our monorail station with road. Place this right here. Very nice. And then we can bring in our little roads here. Should get a nice little freeform curve. There we go. That's going to link the monorail system together. And then we can bring it back in a loop with whatever we decide to do with uh, with this network right here. Okay. So, let's carry on bringing down our industrial road that we have flowing alongside the river here. Let's keep this coming down. I think we probably got some nice key action in here as well at some point today. And then we can feed a little one-way system into our cargo airport here because this thing produces a ton of traffic so that's a go for industrial roads let's bring ourselves a little industrial one-way system down and I guess we'll feed it down to here right let's kind of align it with the edge of the asset bring it up to here fantastic and then leave them flowing and then we can bring out that industrial to flow in this direction as well. Giving plenty of space to come through some detail in here as well later on. And snap to that road guard line. Get a nice smooth curve around the edge there and then hook it into the road. So this is also kind of a direct highway connection right? There's very few connections on this road and then it feeds straight into the downtown and then into the highway which we do need to tidy this up. And however, we'll also do the same for them down here as well, right? We'll have a little dedicated highway connection uh, down this side for industrial traffic. I think that'll be okay. That's a general kind of structure and premise. This is what we're looking at right now. Plenty of stuff still to do, I think, isn't there? Plenty of opportunities as well. Okay, so we've got some monorails and cars flowing around here now. That's always appreciated, isn't it? And we do need to redraw this monorail line in so we can get them to stop at the other side because there is, seems to be a little bit of a bug, at least in my experience, where if you drag an existing line out, it tends to gravitate towards one side of the station, even if you do tend to grab it and kind of shift it back. But I guess we'll kind of see how things pan out here, right? So I'm quite keen for a secondary public transport hub to sit alongside this thing, and I think we'll probably run with the bus and intercity bus hub because we do want to have some buses around here I think you know every time you go to an airport there's always buses right I think buses are kind of like the airport staple so let's see can we squeeze this in between the bridge oh we're a little too shallow from that one that's okay though that is okay we'll come out from this one instead let's bring ourselves a fancy fancy little one-way road down and we'll feed these buses into a one-way system okay and see how far off we are now. Okay, we've got a little room to play with, so maybe let's bring 
a little one way road out on our road guideline. So we're up by 10 for right now. We'll get the asset placed and then we can configure any symmetrical spice that we're looking to do. Okay, so I think we're going to be happy with the bus and city bus up here to come to the airports. And then we're just going to bring our little one way system now to flow up against kind of the edge of the asset. Just so everyone's kind of nice and symmetrical and happy. Have a little one way loop feeding in for the buses to come in. And maybe downgrade the segment of road out front just so the buses don't drive through the trees because that tends to happen <laughs> a little bit at the time. And then where we have our kind of other arterial from that frame that we drew in last episode. We'll now bring this straight the way through to hook into this road. Which gives people highway access at a couple of different points now. There's a slip here. These will eventually be hooked in. There'll be one down here. And also one into the downtown. Plus the public transport. There's going to be plenty of uh, accessibility for people coming and going out of this part of town. And we'll start to have a look at some lighter decorating options to sit around our little in-city bus up here. So I think we're... Maybe we're going to place our own trees in. We'll come without decorations. And then maybe let's just kind of feed these into the pedestrian crossings either side. Let's bring it down to here as well. And I think just because it's not quite symmetrical at the minute, we can't. I don't think we can refuse that opportunity, right? I think we'll come out by one more. Switch to our decorations. Bring this down under here. Get some people walking around under the bridge now too. And then we'll bring this one down. And also give us a nice little symmetrical design where of course we can come in with the old favourite. Some fancier. Very symmetrical boxed in tree patterns outside the airport here I think. Maybe come for a little sugar maple pattern. We do have sugar maples around here already though. Maybe something a little more exotic. We never do this with bamboo. I feel like that would be a good shout. Although while it is palavan, do we want to stick with maybe a triplet of conifers and a couple of palavan pines in the middle? Almost like very landscaped gardens, you know? I guess you would get this outside an airport, right? Almost like a Welcome to Palavan sign, if you like. I like the way that the uh, the building isn't centralised with the airport as well. It's a nice kind of shift of angles and direction, I think. But just some very light detailing out the front here. And uh, we can keep this pattern going down our main street as well, because these are all roads pedestrians can walk on. And we're starting to see how people are choosing to flow around the new area now. People are taking advantage of the new infrastructure. Planes coming and going, yes please. It's all very exciting, isn't it? <laughs> they are a little more complicated to build airports, but we can do some nice things with them, I think. So I'm just going to head and hook in our little interchange here. We'll absolutely come through and upgrade this, probably into something a little more fancier, and then allow it to flow through into the outline suburb here at some point. But for right now, just for today's episode, uh, the airport has almost an immediate highway connection. It's a super little compact interchange, you can kind of see how it flows here. Not the most symmetrical thing in the world, but it'll do a job for right now for what we need it to do. Okay. So, I want to discuss the possibility of a unique building, and I think I'm kind of leaning into uh, the business park here, or the Grand Library, maybe both. Maybe both. I think maybe we can position some car parks out front of the... Uh, the business park monument. So I think in terms of other key assets that we're going to place today, kind of have decorate out, we also need to place in uh, the helicopter depot because we do want to have helicopters as part of the public transport network in Palavan now. So I guess we'll kind of place this thing and take a look at it, right? See how we think. See how we feel. So I don't think it's an asset to sit up against the main road here. It's definitely a more industrial looking asset, isn't it? Especially with these little spiked fences in there. Guess what will be fuel tanks here? It's not an asset to sit on this side of the airport, right? I think we'll probably throw in some uniques here. Maybe Grand Library, perhaps. Something like that. But I think possibly over here is where we could include our helicopter depot. 
maybe kind of next to the the smaller airport asset here, almost as like an extension of the asset. Kind of how we have here you know, with the HD cards for landing pads. Do something similar here too. Don't worry about the power lines. <laughs> they are of course temporary, we won't leave them in. But uh, I think we'll have a helicopter depot there. I think that's going to be alright. I think everyone's going to have a nice time with that. Let's have a look at the Grand Library. I think I do want to have this in. Maybe have a little shout as to how this is going to sit here. I'll visit the bus station. And then maybe even if we bring a road uh, around the back of this, let's bring something in a fashion like this, okay? Little fancy roads, maybe some grass virgin here. I'll keep everything very upmarket. And then we also have um, the business park as well as a potential option. This is a super awkward asset to fit in. But it works really nicely with the airport if you can position it at an angle where it's not going to conflict with the runways. But uh, I think we'll be alright leaving it there. If anything they could fly through it. <laughs> right? I think they could fly through that. Okay. But I think it's a little strange just kind of having it with grass either side. So with that in mind, I think we're going to throw the business park on this side so it's flush with the road. And then we can move our little box road network that covers the Grand Library in here as well. Let's just come to road length. And then we'll hook it in there. Okay. And then that also allows us to shift the Grand Library over just a touch. Spending a lot of money here repositioning Uniques. <laughs> it's fine though. And then we can come through with just some fence, uh, some path borders. And then allow that to kind of just become like a little unique park, right? I think that's a fairly nice combination of assets. I don't think I'm adverse to it, right? It's going to be okay. Frames the Grand Library quite nicely as well. And, uh, you know, from all angles, yeah, the planes clear it <laughs> by quite a way. It's a shame they don't fly through it. I wonder if you could position an airport to get them to fly through that, actually. Maybe that's a video. <laughs> I guess we'll wait and see. Some people arriving via this airport now, too. And, uh, interestingly enough, almost all of them choosing to take this arterial out as opposed to... Let's see where they're headed. Few people heading into the outlying suburb, although the, the bulk of this traffic is, I'm guessing, going to go to the highway. Need to move some traffic lights here. Yeah, all of them heading to the highway. Which is really interesting. Really interesting indeed. Okay. That's going to be quite nice, I think, isn't it? I think I might get involved in some car park spice out the front of the Grand Library. I think we kind of have to have some car parks near the airport, right? I think it'd be rude not to. So let's very temporarily take away our Grand Library here. We'll draw in a road to save ourselves some 2x2 two two, uh, Green Cities commercial lots here. Come in and grab the Grand Library again. And then we'll come through with some car park spies here. Of course, if you don't know how to do this, you need the Green Cities DLC. Paint yourself out of district. Give it the local one organic produce specialization. And then you want to zone commercial in an alternating 2x2 two two grid pattern like this. And there is an asset that spawns in called the Edison Hypercharger, which when laid back to back in this pattern will look like a little something like this. So kind of car packs here now. And I think because we have the opportunity to do this on this side as well, where we have the border between the road network and the actual airports themselves. We can even bring in some surrounding car park designs, almost like we surround the Grand Library with car parks, right? Which will also blend in quite nicely into the airports, and then we can also have that kind of grander car park aesthetic, which, you know, you do get at a lot of airports. <laughs> I can't get called out for spamming, air for spamming car parks in this episode because I think they belong with the airports of all places, right? But we're starting to come together now. We're starting to develop a little more um, 
Meat and potatoes outside of the airport, which is what's important. And also seeing people move around at the new road infrastructure now as well. It's actually really interesting to see how this little one-way system is siphoning off all of the traffic. No one is coming back down here. Oh, there we go. There's a few. <laughs> Literally, as I talk about it, they come down. <laughs> okay, let me rephrase that. Very few people are coming down this road here to get to the roundabout. The vast majority of them preferring the one-way system uh, to take them down these larger arterials that run back into the downtown. So, happy with the traffic flow. Everything's working nicely here. Everything's working nicely, isn't it? Okay, so I'll go ahead and extend my Green Cities district and we'll get some surrounding car park designs around uh, the Grand Library. And then we can start talking about some finer detailing tips uh, for an airport. Okay, so we have these repeated car park designs around the Grand Library now. And uh, it's fitting quite nicely. Also, oh, it's a close call, isn't it? <laughs> it's a close one. Also shifted the business park monument over, um, just so it kind of centralises with the car parks and the library now. And you could almost use this asset as an extension of one of the airport terminals. It does kind of have... Well, I think it definitely kind of fits into the airport build, um, as, we, as we'd hoped it would. I think it's quite nice. I think it's okay. It's definitely on its way, isn't it? <laughs> it is definitely on its way. Uh, okay, let's bring down our cycle network now, because we do want this to hook into the airport at some point. I think if we trim off a little here, how are we looking if we... I guess we'd just upgrade this road into cycle network, couldn't we? I think that's what we'll do. Let's upgrade this path into cycle highway, at least down this side. And then we'll come out from this point, straight under. Very nice. And then we got a perfect little hook in there. And I guess it would make sense to upgrade this into Cycle Road, however, I think I'm feeling maybe something a little fancier. Maybe the tree is for this road. Okay. And then the Cycle Network will now be hooked in. And we should see some people begin to cycle to the airport now, which would be uh, really nice. Lots of people. More modern art here. <laughs> but we should get lots of people picking this up now. Here we go. Here's someone. Let's see where he goes. Can I go under the bridge? Yes, he is. Nice. <laughs> That's what we want to see. So this will start getting some use now too. Let's also go ahead and hook in our metro lines because we do have a metro station included with the intercity bus, uh, with the uh, metropolitan airport anyway. Set it straight in the out a little. Looks like, can we get a perfect run in here? Oh, we can as well. Nice. <laughs> when does that ever happen? Metro, monorail, bus, and cycle network all hooked straight into the airport now. Which is uh, really nice. Is anyone actually picking up the monorail yet? A couple of people. Six at this station, 23 at that one. And uh, 501 at this week. Wow. <laughs> okay, this one's getting the bulk of the traffic, isn't it? Look at this. Yes, please. Is everyone picking up the monorail station here? Yes, they are. Very nice. That is what we want to see. The less people that drive out of these things, the better. And um, we don't really want people driving straight out of the airport. If they use public transport, it's amazing. You know, they can grab this monorail line. Let's just take a hot minute to run over the public transport here. They can grab the monorail and head down through the outline suburb, into the commercial town centre, past the IT cluster park, and then into the actual transport hub itself, which of course takes them across the rest of Palavan, so this monorail system is getting an absolute ton of use now that the airport is hooked in. See a couple of people choosing to head over into the academic library. And some people taking the pathways down here. Some taking the bridge across. Which of course gives them to this metro. <laughs> All coming together. So satisfying, isn't it? Really is so satisfying. This is growing too tall. We'll, we'll change that in a few weeks time. <laughs> But monorail's getting lots and lots of use, which is nice to see. And uh, there's only a wait for a, a plane to arrive at the Metropolitan Airport to see how kind of this is performing uh, with the Metro and the eventual helicopters hooked into this as well. Uh, we are getting some uh, low worker demands, so what we're going to do is come through and fulfil uh, a little more of the outer line suburb population. Okay, just kind of double check our noise pollutions. Yeah, so high density will survive. We definitely couldn't have brought through the low density here. It just wouldn't have coped with it. 
And we'll just join a big bank and we'll kind of see what generates, right? We'll um, test out some ideas. And of course we've got our nature reserve path here as well, which will help link people through from one side to the other. And a potential opportunity as well for some fence spice to come through between these two roads. Now it's come off everything but grid. Or everything angle here. Okay. Some nice little high densities to develop on this side of the road to help keep that. Oh, that's a little bit of dimensional tearing. We can live with it there. And then likewise the same here again as well. I think we'll keep it all fairly organic. Let some different assets come in here. Okay. Mm, not these ones though. <laughs> not these ones. Yeah. See, you see, this is what happens when we just mass zone. Gets all very mismatched and horrible. It's very important to do specific zoning. Yeah, we're going to have to specifically zone this, aren't we? <laughs> I think we are. Okay, yeah, let's just get rid of you. But we'll definitely run some high density uh, residential through here as well. Uh, so these guys don't abandon. We're just going to carry on expanding. A little outline suburban pattern that we'd worked on a couple of episodes ago. Of course, taking out different little zonings. We've also ran some little 3x3. Three three. They're repeatable high density tenement patterns. These are these 3x4 ones. I think they're 3x4, right? Uh, no, no, they are 3x3. They are three three. Of course, we want to make sure that they have some water. And this will give us a little bit of high density outside the airport, right? And then I think of some final asset placements before we start to look at doing some detailing around here. Let's bring ourselves that little little support road. Maybe let's throw in a police station over this way. And maybe a fall of a smaller fire station as well. Okay, it's kind of See how we're looking from up here as well now. Yeah, okay, it's coming together, isn't it? We've got lots of open green space at the minute, but we'll absolutely fill this out with detail and park life stuff, fences, trees, and all the usual usual spices that we get involved with. I uh, got a nice view from these little tenement houses as well. May switch these out for something a little more modern during a stream. Maybe something from the Green Cities DLC. Okay guys, but that does feel like a good place to jump into a detailed time lapse. So we've got a lot of stuff to do here. I want to kind of design some introductory flower designs for the airport here as people arrive. And then come through and tidy up this very kind of off-center riverbank at the minute. Get some keys in along this road. And bring some further designs to this airport over here. I get some bus lines flowing around the outlying suburb from here and probably elsewhere into this part of the city as well. Just so we can see some buses kind of coming and going from here. And uh, yeah, get some airport stops hooked in as well so we can actually see some of them arriving for the cinematics, which I think will be nice. But otherwise, I'll speak to you all in a moment.
Okay guys, that is going to do it for today. I want to thank you all so much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, a like below is always appreciated, even as much if you haven't enjoyed it. Really cute airport build and a lot more space to work with today than we had in Bergusia, and it's nice to finally actually play with the Metropolitan Airport for the first time. First time I've ever placed the asset. And uh, some really, really nice traffic flow around this area. The arterials feeding into different parts of town. And there is absolutely more work to come through here and do during a live stream, uh, which we will hopefully back into the rhythm of now. Just a quick thank you again for all the patience and support on the channel. Um, the growth last year and into this year has been insane, um, really, quite truly. I just want to say a quick thank you again. <laughs> but this build has lots of Palavin's key themes, of course, of open parkland, lots of trees, and I've also come through with some IT cluster spice and just introduced a little bit of an airport office park, if you like. Uh, just as a nice little pop of height in amongst all this type of design that we've got going on here today. Do hang around for the rest of the outro touch, you guys wouldn't have seen all the detailing, but otherwise I will shut up and I will leave it there. want to thank you all so much for watching, and as always, enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs>